Well, the name Allo Dub, you know, it was made when we were freshmen. A couple older guys and us came together, you know, to create something. We looked up to these guys, the Seahawks, and you know, they was the Legion of the, what was they, Legion of the Boom? Yep, Legion yeah. of Boom. And these, these guys was, you know, basically what we looked up to, that how you should play, that's how they played. And, um, we thought we should bring that to the game, and that's, that's what we named ourselves. And, and, and that made us play, play hard every week and live up to that name. So that's what we've been doing lately. And um, it, it brought us closer to each other as brothers, and I'm glad we did this. I feel like I made, it was, you made the handshake. I made the handshake. But I'm the creator behind I feel handshake. like, you know, I was on YouTube. And, you know, <laughs> I seen L.O.B., so I'm like, L.O. Dub, you know, Legion of Wolves. So I'll, t I'll take credit for that part. <laughs> Yeah, even though they changed the handshake like three times, but handshake we're man, just, we're just trying to, uh, you know, affect the brotherhood, you know. That's it. We lock it in because like brothers right there. Yes. Yeah. Tremendous bond, man. Yo, my man. Really like, man. This is really like my man. brothers right here. It's really like my <laughs> brothers right here. And so as soon as I came in, it was like a open arms. They did just accept me to the family, and all they all they said was just ball out, play hard. And this bond gonna last forever. This bond don't stop here. This bond, this bond goes for the rest of our life, man. We build something that's that's unbreakable here, and that's why we play so great together. Because we know each other, we communicate with each other, and at the end of the day, we most of us live with each other. So, yeah, it's like when you say brothers, it's literally brothers. We argue, fight, play, fight, laugh, everything together. We eat together. We do everything together as brothers. Like it's like it's insane. Yeah, honestly, it's crazy. I mean, the four of us, like. Excluding Coop, Coop got here three years old. But we've been through a lot. Like, people have come, people have gone. You know, we've stayed true. We've been through some real adversity, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. for us to stay here and, you know, build this tight knit group that we have here is a really cool thing. Well, I first start off saying, since we're the older guys, it, it definitely trickles down. You know, guys see me, us, you know, me and him being the bruises, these guys playing coverage, defense out of this world and these guys just want to follow these steps you know because they starting to see how to win they starting to see it's possible so with us just being that leader and showing this it's a way and it's showing it's a when you when you work at something you can get it it, it gives these young guys hope it's like they look up to us like they see us <clears throat> getting the interceptions they see us practicing hard so it just trickles down to them so when they see that from the older guys it makes them just want to take on the legacy take on the challenge and we challenge them ourselves like we tell them like this week in practice, we need three picks in practice. We need this the, this amount of turnovers in practice. It's not just gonna come from us; it's gonna come from the second group that comes in. And then, like when we and then when the first group is on the side, we correct them. Like we just like we're not just back there horse playing. We're back there like looking at opposition and seeing what they're doing if if they're messing up, and we can correct them along with the coaches. So yeah, and that also helps when like when adversity hits because in the game, you know, not everything's gonna go perfect. You know, somebody might give up a play or miss a tackle, but, you know, we pick each other up, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're close-knit, like, we know that nothing can be perfect, and as long as you give 100% effort, like, at the end of the day, you'll be satisfied with what the result is. And, and, and the experience within this group is, like, basically nobody at LO Dev, you, you have it's nothing we didn't see on the field. So every day we go out in the field, it's something we've seen in our past. We've been here for four, three years, you know, so we all veterans. So basically we just go out and play our game, you know, and just try to lead this team to a win every game, playing our hardest. I mean, what's next for us right now, we're focusing on the next yeah, Albany game yeah, because yeah, it's our last yeah. game. And, uh, <laughs> last I check, I want to leave off with that Apple. Yeah, I still got an so. Apple. I want my Apple back. I'm hungry. That's, that's, what, that's what's next for us. You know, we're just going to keep enjoying this time we got together because we got three games left and, 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 and we don't get this back. So we're going to play our hearts out for these last games, leave everything on the field, don't leave no regrets, and um, just keep playing for each other. And that, that's what got us here now. You know, this is what brought us this close now, just playing for each other. So that's what we're going to continue to do. Let me see. Hold on. This is more than just football, man. This is going to leave the locker on me. This is forever. I built a bond with this. I put it on my body, so that's how you know it's real, man. I love my brothers, and it's going to forever be that way.